is up, YouTube. Welcome back to another video today. In today's video, we are, drum roll please. Today, we are doing a challenge. We're only eating from fast food for a whole day, AKA 24 hours. So, the way we are going to do this, well, come close, come close. As you can see, we've got some of the most popular fast food restaurants in my area. So we have Taco Bell, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Burger King, Firehouse Subs, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, sheesh, Subway, Chipotle, Arby's, and Sonic. We're gonna spin this around to see what we're eating for our first meal. And again, guys, you already know, my diet stays very, very on the healthier side. So doing this is pretty extreme for me, but let's go ahead and see what we're having for meal number one. Oh, my guess is Chick-fil-A. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go! Chipotle is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I do really enjoy Chipotle. The only thing that kind of messes with me a little bit is it's so filling. And the reason that's a problem, guys, is because we have to be eating this for the entire day. So we gotta constantly be shoving down food while making space at the same time. And like I just said, Chipotle is extremely, extremely heavy. So, let's just get started! Woo! So y'all, to be honest, fast food isn't really my go-to. Um, one, because you save money by cooking at the crib. And two, well, it's a lot healthier cooking at the crib. But there are options, like, I think you can make Chipotle a fairly healthy meal. I've seen people even like buy it in bulk and then meal prep with it, which is also pretty smart because you also save money that way. But you already know, with cooking at home, you control all the oils that yeah, it's being used and things like that. So we're gonna get a bowl loaded up with the veggies and all that good stuff. Usually burritos are pretty good, but I'm in the bowl kind of mood today, so let's go. Package secured. Yo, this all this ain't all for me, boys. This ain't all for me. A lot of it. I got some for my siblings. So, but anyways, package secured. Now let's listen to music while I give you guys elevator music because it's copyrighted. The bag of goodies. So I'm gonna show you guys a little life hack when it comes to eating a chipotle bowl. So I know a lot of people, they open it up, they mix it with the fork, and it just takes forever and it makes a huge, huge mess. So the life hack I'm gonna show you, make sure it's sealed, yo. Make sure it's sealed extremely tight, airtight even. So boom. Now, we're just, all right. Now that it's extremely tight around the whole area or radius, we're gonna give it a good shake. Side to side, up and down, around the town. Take it for dance, take it for lunch, take it for dinner. That's why I said make it airtight. One sec. Little malfunction. So just keep shaking it up, guys. So after like 30 to 40 seconds or even a hundred seconds, it should be shaken up pretty well. Boom, guys. I've had better shakeups, but that is a great one. It's way, way better than just using the fork because the fork makes a mess. Like I said, make it airtight, guys, or else you'll have a big mess just like that. I've always been extremely interested in figuring out how much a Chipotle bowl weighs because they're very, very dense. So of course I bring out my handy dandy weight scale. So, according to Google, if Google isn't lying to me, one pound is 453.92 grams. And my food scale weighs this in at, ooh, 739 grams. So that comes out to roughly 1.62 pounds, so almost two pounds, because like I told y'all, this can be pretty dense. Now let's get this weight scale out of the way and get to digging. So, meal number one, AKA this is breakfast, so I'm pumped, let's get into it. So basically a bowl from Chipotle runs roughly 700 
to 900 or even a thousand calories depending on how much you load up how much cheese how much sour cream and all things like that so i'm gonna say this bowl is roughly 900 is calories 850 to 900 i didn't get that much cheese but i did get a good amount of sour cream boom bowl finished Alhamdulillah. That meal was a legit 10 out of 10. You can never go wrong with Chipotle. Unless you just like, I don't know, get something of a weird combination. But that ain't what happened! Sheesh, I don't know what you guys do after a big meal, but me, it makes me want to do some cardio, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, which hat? Which hat, guys? We feeling blue, we feeling brown, we feeling white brown, we feeling wrestling. Hmm, tickly dickly. Time for meal number dose, aka lunch. Let's see what we're gonna eat. So I want to either like some Subway or some Chick Fil A. Let's see what we get. Shoo boop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We're not, we're not double tapping. We ain't double tapping Chipotle. All right, we ain't double tapping Chipotle. Let's do it again. Need a little refresh? No way. So Burger King it is. What is Burger King? Okay, so McDonald's has the Big Mac, Subway has the foot long, Chick-fil-A has the chicken sandwiches, Burger King has the Whoppers. Am I gonna get a Whopper? We'll see, bro. I think they might have some fish fillet. I like fish fillets. I like some fish fillets, but Burger King, you're on. If your first pick for fast food whenever you're like, you want a quick meal is Burger King, congratulations to you, man. Yo! Hey man, how you doing today? Doing pretty good. Good bro, hopefully you're having a great day. Um, can I get a number 10 please? Alright, it's gonna be three minutes for a fresh one, is that alright? That's perfect. Alright. Alright, yeah, let me do that and the drink, just the water. Anything else for you? Uh, just some ketchup on the side, please. Some ketchup on the side? Yes, sir. I'll be with the window. Thank you, sir. So, guys. I got the big fish meal, and the reason behind that is because the Whoppers just didn't seem as good as the big fish meal. I'm a huge, huge fan of fish, so let's see if it's as good as a McDonald's fish fillet. And they said it was going to be fresh, so fresh means success, right? We, we shall see. Burger King, this is your chance to redeem yourself, to prove yourself right with a big fish sandwich. Let's dig in. Initial impression, y'all. Nice, delicious looking fries. Ketchup, obviously you gotta have ketchup with your fish sandwich. If you don't, you should just throw some on. You know, it makes your day better. All right, guys, so initial impression, um, they do have a square patty of a fish filet. This is the inside, just pickles, lettuce, and tartar sauce on a crusted bun, obviously. So we got that with some fries, so let's dig in. You know, Burger King, if you redeem yourself, psh, might start heading over there a little bit more on the cheat days, man. All right, let's get it. First bite. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This this fish sandwich is delicious. Now, time for the fries.
Burger King, you just proved yourself 100% right. That fish filet meal was, or big fish meal, was a 10 out of 10. The burger itself was very, very tasty. The combination of pickles and lettuce was perfect, along with that good top of tartar sauce. And the fries were cooked to perfection. I'm not too picky when it comes to fries. As long as the food isn't soggy, and that food was absolutely fresh. So Burger King was literally a 10 out of 10. We'll try again. I will say though guys, being on a fast food diet, you can't help but to feel constantly full because the fats and the carbs in these foods are through the roof. So after doing some research on Google, the Big Fish meal is 572 calories. The calorie breakdown is 43% fat, 41% carbs, and 16% protein. So let's say you're on a muscle building diet, you'll probably have to eat like four or five of just the fillets to hit 40 grams of protein, 40 to 50 grams of protein in that one meal. So is fast food the best decision? No. Is it the quickest decision? Yes, but and it is also extremely, extremely filling. That's why these brands are the most popular, bro, because you go get it, takes five seconds, you get a delicious meal, don't even care about the calories, and you get full, bro. Also, real quick, guys, I just want to say how blessed I am to be able to do a video like this. Alhamdulillah. Let's keep rocking and rolling. And also, bro, if you've made it this far to the video, you better be subscribed. You better be subscribed. I'm trying to hit 10 kajillion subscribers, bro. First 10 kajillion subscriber account. Subscribe, bro. Yo, first try, bro. I will admit, though, I'm not used to, like, a heavy oil diet. And what I mean by that... Whenever you go to fast foods, a lot of their foods, or all of their foods, are just made in whatever. Canola oil, sunflower oil, peanut oil, whatever it may be. But everything is oiled. Whenever on my regular diet, guys, I probably have just my eggs. Everything else is either in the oven or um, air fried. So not, I don't have too much oil in my diet. Unless, of course, I cook my chicken on the pan with olive oil. But whatever, that's good oil for you, you know what I'm saying? So I will definitely admit having like consumed, oh, I know it's only two meals, oh, I know. But I'm telling y'all, it's more than I usually like take in. And so it really does give the bubbly guts. Had to pop the Pepto-Bismol. Had to pop the Pepsi. Bring out the whole ocean. Point being, guys, if you're on a diet like this, it will definitely take your body some time to getting used to, to actually constantly handle that much fat and that much grease on all of your food. <laughs> so if you can handle that kind of diet, bro, all for you, bro. But on this side, I like my broccoli. On the positive side, though, the food is always tasty. I don't think one's normal digestion can handle that. Because for me, the grease, the fat, the oil, everything, it's just a little bit too much for me. <sighs> Gotta do some stretches. Circles, circles. Yo! Yo, you see, that's that fast food gains. Just kidding, that's eating healthy gains. You know, you can learn a lot from this video, actually. So if you're on a big bulk and you really wanna put on some size, bro, go to the fast food places. Whenever I first started my first bulk ever, guys, that's what I kinda did. I was always out of, at a fast food place just eating a burger or whatever, just trying to put on as much cows as possible, and it did, but I eventually hopped off that wave because it ain't the move, bro. You spend it in the bag for some cows. At first, this was all fun and games, but this challenge has really started to feel like a challenge because it's challenging me. Anyways, it's time for dinner, boys. And I am not starving. I could actually go quite some time without fast food. I could actually go for some rice, chicken, and broccoli right now. But it's dinner time! Let's spin the wheel. What we can't have on the wheel is Chipotle and Burger King. Now I'm aiming for either. I would really like to either have a Subway or Chick-fil-A. Something light on the tummy so I don't get the bubblies. But let's go. Shadoosh. Not double tapping Chipotle. Run it back, run it back. Starbucks? Taco Bell, no! 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 Taco Bell, no!
Taco Bell, the ultimate bubbly guy. Guys, beans, burritos, come on! Uh, each thing on that menu is like 300 freaking calories, bro. But a challenge is a challenge. Bring out the whole Pepto Bismol! With my usual diet, I can eat like every two to three hours, no problem, down the hatchet, out the hatchet. But like, I kid y'all not, with fast food, it's like, it's made to keep you full because it's so high in fats, high in carbs, which can be good, but at the same time, like if you're bodybuilding, you don't want to be feeling full constantly, you want to be ready to eat all the time. So again, it's been a couple of hours, or a few hours actually since I've eaten, a couple to a few hours since I ate the last meal, but I think I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. So there's a little bit more space in the dungeon. All right, let's go. Disclaimer, I don't recommend anybody do this challenge. And if you don't think this is a challenge, change your way of eating, eat healthier. One reason is because it's healthier, and two is because it's healthier. So don't try this challenge, guys. And if you do consist of just fast food, give it a little change up, bro. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. Hopefully you're having a great day. Let me get two of those. Okay. Let me do one thing of uh, cinnamon twists. Okay. And a water, please. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, take a Decided to go with the beans instead of the beef. Gotta always check the bag to make sure nothing's missing. You just don't want to go back in there and ask for it. So always make sure everything's in the bag once you get the bag. Seems to me, everything is in the bag. For meal number three, AKA dinner, AKA the last meal of the all day fast food challenge, we landed Taco Bell. Now, don't get me wrong, Taco Bell is an absolute banger and it's really good, but after two other fast food places, sheesh! So let's go ahead and dig into it. So first off guys, we've got Two crunchy bean, bean, two bean crunchy tacos with, they got a dessert or a little treat called cinnamon twist and they're actually pretty good. Fun fact, the cinnamon twists are actually just like deep fried macaroni with cinnamon on top of it from what I've seen. So automatically, those are a 10. Those absolutely slap, they're so, so good. Now let's get into these crunchy tacos. <clears throat> There's not much to these tacos, just beans, lettuce, and cheese with the hard shells, though. So yes, I could have easily gotten a lot more food from Taco Bell instead of just two tacos with cinnamon twist, but I kid y'all not when I say this challenge keeps you full. And with that, if you do have a bunch of money to spend at Taco Bell, there is a crazy dollar menu that you can get a ton of stuff with 20 bucks. Taco number two. Tacos were a 10. The challenge ain't over until you finish all the food. Challenge completed. So of all the places that we went to today, if I had to rank them one to three, I would say Chipotle, and just basically in the numerical order we went in. So Chipotle number one, Burger King number two, and then Taco Bell number three. Now, not gonna lie, the only reason I put Chipotle ahead of uh, Burger King, because I am a huge fan of fish sandwiches, so the only reason I put them up because there was just a little bit more variety on it. Like, if there was just more of a variety on the fish sandwich, like tomatoes, onions, and things like that, it just depends on what you like it, and I like those kind of things on a fish sandwich. But because Chipotle had more of a variety in their bowl, Chipotle takes the first, Burger King takes second, and Taco Bell takes the third. So the calories for Taco Bell was 120 calories per taco and 170 calories for the cinnamon twist and for the drink. We can't really count that because we got water. So that total comes out to 410 calories just for Taco Bell. So this entire challenge comes out to roughly 2,000 calories. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you consider how much fats and carbs are in each meal, it kind of takes a toll on you. So the whole challenge was around 2,000 calories. Was it easy? I will have to say the first half of the challenge, like 
Chipotle, because it was my first meal and Burger King, that was fairly easy. But after the Burger King settled in, that's whenever it was like, okay, maybe we should switch back to the broccoli and rice. You've had your fun, yada, yada, yada. So going to Taco Bell was definitely a bigger push, even though I only got the two tacos and the cinnamon twists. So guys, that is it for today's amazing food challenge. I really, really hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you, you are freaking awesome. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, punch the subscribe button. And if you want, leave a comment down below to let me know what you guys wanna see next. Other than that, have a great day, guys. See you in the next video. Yeah, I'm ready to retire from fast food. I could do cardio for a couple hours, no cap. Do cardio for a good amount. Get a 50 pack, you know, you know what I'm saying? Retire from the fast food diet. Sounds like a great plan. Sheesh, man, sheesh. You know, I do enjoy junk food though here and there, but on the daily, heck no, baby. You know, retire from fast food, just become a quadrillionaire, you know? Become a quadrillionaire. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a good old crack of Pepto Bismol. Sometimes I genuinely wonder if all these, you know, fast food competition guys, how they make so much space in their stomach. That's pretty wild, bro. Because as a bodybuilder myself, I don't want that much room. I like my meals, I like my, you know, good, healthy, cool meals. But they're over there slamming 10 pounds of, uh, you know, 150 cheeseburgers. That's just wild, bro. On this side, Chicken, rice, broccoli, success, baby.